How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out how we can face the Demon of Hatred, which is one of the optional secret bosses in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. To fight this boss, we will need to be in relatively late game where we can no longer return to the Ashina outskirts by conventional methods. And one of the reasons some of you may be having trouble finding this is because you may have seen some gameplay or some footage of this boss and realized it's in the same arena as one of the first bosses of the game, but you can no longer reaccess that area. So that is exactly what we're going to be showing you today. We're going to be parting from Kuro's room as it's one of the first idols you'll most likely have unlocked when you return to the Ashina castle and the rest of them get blocked off, but you can obviously go from any other idol. In fact, the quickest way would be to go from the old grave idol if you already have that one re-unlocked. But the game's kind of new, so we're going to be going from up here just to make sure everyone knows exactly where we're going and nobody gets lost. We're going to jump off the roof and head towards the old idol as if it was the first time discovering the location, and here we're going to jump down to the lower level, and we're going to be able to cross this bridge, and once you gain your bearings a little bit, you'll realize that you're on the bridge in Ashna outskirts that was previously broken, that if you go down to the right, it's the place where you first encounter the Great Serpent, and if you head left, it's towards the cave where you find the first headless room. So the logical thing here would be to retake the path where you took the first time to get to the first boss arena, which would be down here to the right of the bridge and past the Great Serpent, but that place is going to be blocked off later in the game. But what we actually need to do is backtrack through pretty much the entire level, all the way past the stairway idol, and then continue back to where you fight the first mini boss of the area. The path itself won't have changed much since your first visit here, but the enemies obviously will, and the items you can find, so I'd recommend maybe looking around and exploring a little bit to pick up some of the new drops here. And then right at the beginning where you fight the first of the mini bosses in this area, you'll notice there's an idol. But if you sit at this idol, it's not a regular idol. What it'll actually do is when you interact with it, it'll teleport you to the arena of the Demon of Hatred, back to the arena where we fought the first boss. And we can actually rest at the idol at this place so we can come back here whenever we wish to. So that's pretty much it. That's how we can find the Demon of Hatred. This boss is completely optional, and I will say it's one of my favorites. And not only does it look like something straight out of Bloodborne, it actually plays very similar to a Bloodborne boss, more so than a Sekiro boss. You can't really just block everything as the fire will still damage you if it's with the firearm. It's more about outmaneuvering and dodging the enemy moves, joined in with some Sekiro mechanics like the jump and the grapple, and you can parry some of the attacks. I'll leave the entire boss fight for the remaining of the video in the background in case you're having trouble with one of the stages or any of the specific attacks so you can see how you're supposed to deal with each attack. It's almost a perfect boss fight, all three stages. However, we do make a couple of mistakes and we take a few hits here and there, but it's still very good if you want to take a reference for how to deal with this boss. I am currently planning on doing in-depth strategy guides for each of the bosses, or at least the most difficult ones on the game of how to do each boss without taking any damage or any hits, but there are so many other things we need to record first, so I hope this is good enough for now. And one final thing about this boss is that the lore behind him is very interesting, but we'll go into that on another video. So I hope you did find this video helpful guys, if you did don't forget that thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time.